Yo, welcome back to Chino and hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and we're back again with another uh, quick little stock video kind of just talking about uh, the last week, I guess last couple days overall um, been kind of a little interesting, I guess we could say there's been a lot of uh, Fed talks this week, a lot of big news coming out. Um, and lots of, uh, I, I guess we could say big drops and big run-ups. So, um, I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and start with AMD. Um, AMD was something I played with this morning, um, right off the rip. Obviously you see these big two, two, almost three huge five minute candle, uh, drops. Something that we've seen plenty of times. And uh, when I see on AMD, usually it just means hop in and, and ride. So um, I think I jumped in probably maybe around here or so. I don't remember. Um, let me see exactly which 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 contracts I got this morning. Um, I know I had two different contracts. I was in the <clears throat> September 30th expiring $61 strike. Um, which would have almost, I guess we could say, gone the money. And I was in a, um, oh, I was also in a actually a, a $65 put, which would have gone well into the money. Um, then I was also in two um, October 7th expiring $64 um, puts, which those would have gone well in the money as well. Um, I did get out of those relatively quickly. Um, school schedule this week's or this, this semester is kind of a little all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but it doesn't really leave time to trade in the morning. I only I have to leave at 7:30 in the morning. Um, live in Las Vegas, so there's only really an hour's um, worth of uh, uh, trading there. But even if let's say if I would have stayed in. Um, uh, like this morning, um, if we actually look at this, so this is 630, even if I would have stayed in all the way until I had to leave, um, that $65 put would have gone in the money, um, well into the money, 730 right here, basically when I leave it would have been 7640, so it would have been well in the money, um, no worries there. I was able to get my profits out there, but um, interesting thing, if we look at the last uh, week, we had a basically a double bottom here, along with a double top, bing bing, which led us to drop um, double bottom. I guess we could we could say this is a double bottom here, had us rally, but then double top down uh, there. Probably hit supply yesterday. I'm sure we were sitting in supply or, or somewhere around there on uh, AMD, which led to a, a bigger drop. Walmart, something I've kept my eye on this last week. Um, pretty much found a support level yesterday. Um, I think I wrote it up for a little bit. Uh, oh, well, actually, yesterday I jumped into a put when I should have been in a call, actually. Um, but took a loss on Walmart. I think I was also in some spy puts as well yesterday, which should have been spy calls, but all good. Um, Walmart bounced off this support and rallied all the way basically up to this resistance line, um, got rejected and kind of fell and didn't really do much today. Um, yesterday was a big move. Um, and this other day here when it bounced off this support was a big, big move. Um, which led into the next day um, with an even bigger kind of begin and just drop. So um, Walmart really has been playing these levels really, really well. Um, the Discord I'm a part of, I always talk about Walmart and, and people kind of, I think people are starting to realize what Walmart is. It's kind of a slow mover. Mover, obviously, you see in the last, um, the last uh, like three days, it's only moved. Um, four bucks, but these moves when it when it makes moves like this and bounces off and goes up here, uh, those contracts move. So it's kind of cool. Um, Spy dropped this morning. Dropped. Um, obviously, yesterday was a big run up, but there's been some massive gaps, massive gap downs, massive gap down, run up, gap up, run down, gap down, run up, gap down, and just drop. So. I think the market's 
been kind of all over the place. Um, I haven't checked the oil though. Seems like Zom's been running. Uh, should have probably kept my eye, eye, eyes on this because 85 all the way up to 89. That's a nice run up. And of course, well, it wasn't all yesterday. It was the day before. But even if you jumped in some $86 calls here, they would have been well in the money up up here. So I guess that has to do with uh, all the oil news. But there was this big gap down, three, three and a half dollar gap down here. So I think it's trying to uh, get back up to the 91 area. So uh, like I said, there's been some news all over the place. Whether that's negative or positive, uh, did you can't do much. So much is happening around the world, um, and you just have to pl have to play what the charts give you. So uh, last week's been a little bit okay, but we're trying to get back. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been doing okay. Uh, like I said, school's been kind of uh, it's been all over the place with kind of assignments and and stuff like that due this week and last week with projects and papers. So. Hopefully we'll get a few weeks here to uh, catch up on some uploads, get you guys some videos, and uh, just have some fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.